DP11 offers full integration with ICON control surfaces. After you install the ICON driver software, connect your ICON devices to the computer and power them on. ICON talks to Digital Performer through a version of Mackie Control Protocol. So when you power on the ICON devices, make sure you scroll to Mackie Control. Next, open a project in Digital Performer 11. Once it's loaded, go to the Setup menu, Control Surface Setup. Click the plus button to create a new control surface configuration. For the driver, choose Icon Control. You'll now be asked to choose your unit. If you're using one Icon device, choose Icon. To the right, find the name of the device under the Input and Output Port tabs. For Mac users, you'll need to look under Unconfigured Ports. If you're using two or more Icon devices, you can use this plus button to add another device. Arrange the order and unit type based on your physical setup. For instance, I'm using two units. My QCon Pro X is my main device, and my QCon Pro XS is my expander device. My expander device sits to the left of my main device. So I'll first choose expander, icon QCon Pro XS for input and output, then click the plus button to add a device. Next, I'll choose icon as the unit and icon QCon Pro X for input and output. Once that's complete, click OK. You should immediately see a Digital Performer dialog on the ICON LED screen, and the tracks in your project should jump into position. You should now have full control of your tracks in DP via your ICON control surface. If you move a fader on the ICON device, it will reflect on the track in DP and vice versa. In the bottom right corner are your transport controls. Use these buttons to play, stop, record, fast forward, rewind, and toggle memory cycle. At the top of each channel strip, you'll find the name of each track on the LED screen. Below it, you have a pan knob. Turn it to the left or right to pan your tracks. Double tap the rotary knob to return to center. You also have a record enable, solo, mute, and select button for each track. For icon control surfaces with a secondary LED screen, the numbers across the top of the volume faders indicate the volume level and pan setting. Double tap the pan knob to return to center pan. For icon devices with an M track, DP will automatically dedicate this track to the master fader. Regardless of where your master fader exists in the DP sequence, you'll always have control of it on the M track. You may also have a jog wheel, which scrolls the wiper through your project in small increments. The arrows to the left of the jog wheel serve a few purposes. By default, the arrows allow you to jump to different parts of the DP sequence.
By clicking the zoom button, the arrow keys now zoom in or out horizontally and vertically. Click the zoom button again to lock the arrow keys and click the zoom button once more to exit this mode. In the next video, we'll discuss the additional features found on the Icon QCon Pro X and G2 Pro models.